Hello everybody, this is Cheesy Squeezy here and we're doing another review video for you. Review for... Yeah, so we've all heard of Swedish fish, right? Yes. We love Swedish fish, don't we? Yes. <laughs> we've all heard of Swedish fish. Yes. But we haven't all heard... Okay. Yes. We haven't all heard of Swedish horses. Yeah, so my grandma went on this cruise and she went, I don't think she went to Sweden, but she found these and she knew I liked Swedish fish. And I've had them for about a year and a half and I was wondering, I was like, man, when are these going to expire? And they expire on September 1st. Guess what today is? Uh, September uh, uh, 2nd? No, we got proof. We don't, they got some guy's photo was on Some <laughs> guy's name is on that. It's 12.45 day, okay. September 1st. 12.45 day. Boom. Proof. <laughs> so, let's crack these babies open. You have a variety of colors here. It looks like you got yellow, red, and orange. Oh. Had nice little horsey engravings on them. I don't know if y'all can see that. Alright, you're 21, yellow, red, or orange? <laughs> I'll take orange. Alright, I'll take a red one. Ready? Wait, first off, you can tell these already have the same Swedish fish texture. It's like, it's not Swedish fish. Queen. They're a little bit hard. They are. Maybe because I waited until they expired to eat them. Yeah, probably. Okay, first thoughts. Oh, um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like Swedish fish with a twist. Mmm, orange flavor too. Good. Like, a lot like Swedish fish. I don't oh. know, do they all have the same flavor like Swedish fish, even though they're different colors? I mean, this one had an orangey tang to it. They're different from Swedish fish for sure. Whoa, that's pineapple flavor. The uh, I think the red one was just like a cherry or a strawberry. I couldn't tell. While we're here and we have candy, Coleman's gonna try some Boston baked beans. It's been a long time since I've had them. Try candy coated peanuts. Spoiler alert. Good. Yeah, they're really sweet. I would say those, uh, down yeah, what horses. are you gonna rate them? Hold on, try a pineapple one. If I'm orange. being honest, like from tasting the orange one, I, I kind of already like these a bit better than Swedish fish. They're thicker too. Mm hmm. So you get more out of it. Pineapple. Pineapple is better than the first one I have. It is. It tastes realistic while having that nice artificial candy taste at the same time. Hey, it's non-GMO. Non-GMO. Okay, I'm tasting this Boston baked beans. I can't taste the, <laughs> the other. Boston baked beans. Beans. Okay, let me give you some history. Okay. Dala horse in Swedish translates to Dala host. It is from Dal Dalarna? in central Sweden. These hand-carved wooden toy horses originated in the 16th century, but became famous example of Swedish folk art in the 1939 New York World's Fair. The Dala horse is now a treasured symbol of Sweden with its distinctive hand-painted ornamentation on a carved red horse. It's pretty wild. Swedish fish already come from Sweden. Yeah. Is it even really a knockoff if it's both from Sweden? Yeah, I think that'd make it more of a knockoff because if they were both in Sweden, who had the idea first? The Dalla horses or Swedish fish? Maybe you can find out more on their website. Check out their website at www.candypeople.com. But honestly, I think I really do like these better than the Swedish fish. Darn right. 
This has been Cheesy Squeezy with a food review. Catch you on the next one. Also, comment section, you decide if these are knockoffs or not knockoffs. And I will also decide as well if these are knockoffs or not knockoffs.